cameras have to be on, no matter what. Fine by me, don't mind the pump. I am a project manager and data scientist, I manage lots of different public health related projects, there is one project in particular that includes a really demanding team from a federal government department, I recently returned back to work from maternity leave, I work in my office three days a week, on those days, I have to pump breast milk at regular intervals for my baby, luckily, I have my own private office and can usually just keep on working, emails, reports, etc. While I pump, I have a hands-free, wearable pump which is convenient, but still definitely obvious if I am wearing it, it pokes out about my shirt and is not exactly silent, recently we have a Zoom call scheduled during one of the times I needed to pump. Instead of missing the meeting, I figured I would just keep my camera off so I could wear my pump and still participate and listen, heck, I was even in my office and not working from home, I felt like I was being a pretty committed employee. Meeting starts, a few people have their cameras off, the lead makes the announcement, I just want to remind everyone that our expectation is that you will have your cameras on because this is not a virtual meeting, it is a simulated in-person meeting. Whatever that means. I sent a quick private message to explain I was paying attention, but pumping, no response to me, just instead, a, again, the expectation is that all cameras will be on. So fine. I turn my camera on for this meeting of about 20 people, the camera isn't aimed at my chest but certainly the top of my pump is clearly visible, I unmuted myself, so you could also clearly hear the pump, and just said, thank you for your patience, I was adjusting my breast pump, the meeting continued awkwardly, with several other team managers letting me know privately it was fine to turn my camera off, but at that point, there really was no point in turning it off, at the most recent meeting, the announcement was, please turn on your cameras if you are comfortable doing so. Now to the comments. Please turn on your cameras if you are comfortable doing so, congrats OP, you did that for everyone. I am waiting for OP to update us that she is now always pumping in camera since she is comfortable with it. Power move. This is not a virtual meeting, it is a simulated in person meeting. My head hurts trying to figure this out. Corporate talk is like 80% needlessly redefining things in ways that make no sense. That's how they get people to believe it. I work at a university and all of the faculty complain that their students don't turn on their cameras, and then we have a departmental meeting and none of those duckers turn their cameras on. Oh, don't even get me started on professors, I've heard them lambast students for showing up late, but as soon as they have a meeting with me or my team, they'll show up 15 minutes late. Drives me insane. Start the meeting on time if they are there or not, if you do that every single time, you are setting the expectation that they will be in their seat and ready to begin at the announced start time. Period. I did that when I was chair of a committee. We start on time and with luck, finish early. Be here. Several times I had people wander in as the meeting was just about to wrap up, as though they thought we would be waiting for them. Nope. This committee can make a decision without your input if it isn't important enough to you to be here on time. It didn't take long before everyone got the message and was in their seat right on time. Now it just annoys me to no end to sit around and wait for the latecomers to show up, whether in person or Zoom or whatever. Funny and sad how you have to shame people to make a point. Glad you were able to retain your dignity while making a point. Kudos and congratulations. Someone posted a story like this a while back, except instead of pumping she was undergoing chemo. That was a fun read. Someone got fired because of that. Yes that exact thought came to my mind too. I hope someone can link it because it's a great read. Brilliant. Also, 
depending on where you are located, some states require that you be given a break from work so that you may pump. The fact you were working during your pump break could also have gotten someone somewhere in trouble. Added to that, you are required to be given a private space to pump. By forcing you to turn on your camera they are violating that privacy. And this was all done by a federal government department. Interesting. Edit. I was informed it is a federal law and not state laws, which makes the fact it's a department for federal government that much more interesting. I work in the federal government and we have a private room and everything, a little fridge, nice seats inside, and a huge sign that absolutely no one can use it for anything other than pumping as people were trying to use it as a small meeting space. When I went back to work after our first kid, I had that happen, was actually asked to leave the very clearly marked for women only nursing room by a man who wanted to have a meeting. I was young, embarrassed, and not aware of my rights. My husband, however, worked for the same company, and raised absolute hell over that. HR did their job swiftly and well and I was never bothered again. Please turn on your cameras if you are comfortable doing so. Sounds like a perfect opportunity for a repeat performance, since you are apparently comfortable enough, just to see what the next wording change would be. The Real Malicious Compliance OP please do this. Simulated live to me sounds like you record a video of yourself looking at the screen. Your eyes dart around as emails and notifications pop up. Doing the whole paying attention thing. Then set it as your virtual background. Join the meeting with the camera covered and it looks like you are there paying attention. Works best if you are wearing a mask too. Tata. Simulated live. I've had this request and my response is that I don't have the bandwidth as my wife is also working and my kids are in online university classes. Feel free to pay for my home internet and requisite upgrade if you want to stipulate how it is used though. Ugh. I would but my company already had everyone send screenshots of their internet speeds as an attempt to say we couldn't work from home. Internet speed would be another reason to bring us into the office. Work impacted by working from home? Bam. 8 to 5 cubicle. Make them more uncomfortable, turn up your mic and bring closer to the pump and aim camera lower down. Simulated live so your boss is just calling virtual another name. A friend of mine worked for a company that required a weekly dress check via webcam for work from home employees. My buddy recently had a kid who spit up on his work clothes less than a minute before the meeting, and I was over helping with the kid. He started with camera off. Tried to explain that he was changing, and for what reason, his manager, who is apparently known for a short temper, basically said camera on now or it's a write up, so. My buddy walked over and turned the camera on, still in boxer briefs, with a vague wet spot near the crotch from said spit up. Suddenly the manager went from camera on to don't show yourself in such undress. Manager threatened to write him up for sexual harassment. So, my buddy sent an email to HR. Manager was written up for demanding an employee turn camera on, despite clear statement that said employee wasn't in a proper state of dress. WTF is a dress check. Basically stand in front of the camera so I can ensure you're wearing the proper clothes. Stupid, but whatever. Simulated in-person meeting I'm adding this to my buzzword bingo tile pool. I sent a quick private message to explain I was paying attention, but pumping, no response to me, just instead, eh? Again, the expectation is that all cameras will be on. Sounds like that could also be an HR complaint too. Possibly even illegal in the US if your office is officially meeting the required private space that is required for pumping. Since could be argued that forcing cameras on was thus a violation of that. Not sure how that would work out here, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the other folks at he meeting made HR complaints against the lead, too. Seems obvious who forced the issue.
I would say you got them embarrassingly good. I never understood the camera must be on policies, if my camera view will be distracting to the meeting then I leave my camera off, as when I join a meeting on my phone while out walking and such, I've actually been in a meeting while trekking in the mountains and except for a quick showing of the views on request my camera was off all of the meeting. Where I work, we usually leave the cameras off, especially in large meetings. Back in the times when you dialed into phone conference system to talk to people working at other offices none ever complained about the lack of visuals, you had to email presentations ahead of time and ask people to move to the next slide. Sometimes I miss those days. No need to do hair and makeup when working from home, and you did not need to care about facial expressions during intense discussions.